step back so you guys can see what it looks like. So on today, guys, very short DIY. It is a, it's what you call those things, those things that hold your curtains up. It's like a little bow. I'm making a slight bow to hold the curtain in the bathroom up. And I'm going to be using my glue gun today with some glue. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I got two pink flowers. And I'm going to be making just to show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to be taking the back off of this on today because I don't need the back of it because I don't really need that. So I simply just want it to be real snug onto the curtain. So I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I don't need this part in the back. So I'm taking this part of it off. And then you're going to need your glue, as I said, glue sticks. Because it's an easy one, it's not that hard to make. You need a scissors and you need some rope. I got this for like $2 a yard at Hobby Lobby, which is not bad at all. You could choose any color that you want. I decided to go with black because my team colors are like black and gray and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is that you're gonna cut. I measured it already, so this is exactly how long I want it to be. So I'm gonna cut this right here. And when you cut it, it tends to want to unravel. So quickly squeeze some hot glue to the edge and kind of bind it back together real quickly so it don't have chance to get unraveled. You know, to just go unravel. You guys know what I mean. That glue is hot, but kind of turn it. Keep turning it up so that the edges don't go a loose. That's what you do. You don't want the edges to go a loose. So kind of twist it together. It comes together real easily. See when you can tolerate the, the glue. But I mess around a lot with hot glue so I know how to do it. And this one I'm going to keep for the second rows that I'm going to do. And this is all I need. This is probably about just enough to go around the curtain that I have in the bathroom. And that's the look so, that I'm going what for. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put some some glue to this edge. You use your glue gun and adhere. Get it all nice and glued up. And this will go in. there we go. Okay. And this part is gonna be in the back of the bowl so you're not gonna see it. I hope you guys are going to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. You're going to also see my bathroom tour of the um, how I um, would use this flower that I made to hold the curtains in the bathroom. So you can go ahead and enjoy that one as well. And when it begins to get a little cool, that's when you, you play with it, moving it around. Now, I normally have like two little things I put on my hand, but I don't know where they are. So, subject to using my fingers today. But sometimes you can get burned, so you have to be careful. And there you go, it's kind of locking it in so it don't unravel. See how simple that was? And what I'm gonna do is put simply put these two. Now, if you wish, you can sew them. It's all up to you. You can sew the two pieces together. It's up to you. But this is how I want to do it. He's turning it in the direction in which the thread is weaved. So now, all you simply do is that you are going to adhere this part that you kind of weaved like that together to the back. It's real simple, it's not complicated at all. And we're gonna put this part on here. And this is gonna become my brace to hold my curtains up. Yeah, I'm gonna show it to you. So you're gonna put the glue right here. Put enough so that this could sit here. And nobody's gonna see this part because 
it's in the back of the um the curtain holder it just holds the curtain and hold that and let it dry This is not going to be moving from my curtains so this is why I am adhering it the way in which I am adhering it but you can go ahead and do this however you wish to do it guys when I show it to you in the bathroom you will see how lovely this is on the curtains to hold the curtains back to the left or to the right so I'm gonna leave this let it dry and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other um, flower and then I'll come back in and show you what it looks like and everything that I'm using is going to be down in the description below all of the information where I got my stuff my glue gun where everything where I got everything is going to be down in the description below you may fast forward some of this video so you could just go ahead and relax this is what I want to make for my bathroom and I think you know, I made it many times before, so I said, you know what, let me just bring it to the channel this time, and I think somebody else will appreciate this as well. very first one that I did and as you can see this has hardened see so now I have this piece here that I can wrap around my curtains you guys see that how you can put the flowers back how I get it on the curtains you're probably gonna ask this one is a very very small curtain so I'm just gonna seep it through and then pull it up that's how I'm gonna put it I'm just gonna feed it through and then put up. I want this to close a little bit, so I'm gonna put some glue there. Just a little bit of glue there. Have a nice closure. Like make it so like a flower. So you guys are gonna see where I'm gonna put this. I'll show it to you. I'll take some pictures and I'll come on through and show you guys what it looks like. This is how simple you can make it for yourself. These here go for like 20, 30, sometimes $40. And I figured that this year, the flower cost me like $3 by, by Hobby Lobby. And if I can make it, you can make it for yourself. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Just don't forget to open out your flowers to make it look really beautiful when it sits on your curtain. Okay guys, I just open out the leaves and I adhere some of the leaves a little bit in the back with some glue. So. See, that's, stay, that's staying right there. It's not going nowhere. That's sturdy so right there, guys. Beautiful. I'm gonna put some pictures in right here. You guys tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. This was a very simple DIY that I wanted to bring to you guys to show you how you can put this on your curtain. You can create this look for yourself in your own home. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna put it up on the curtain and then I'm gonna take some photos and show you what it looks like. Hope you guys like this one on today. Don't forget to go like, comment, and subscribe. Hit it up in the comment section. Ask me any questions, I'll answer them. Not a problem at all. Remember, I just put a little glue here so these will stay like that. Then you can bend your flowers back and make it look as open and beautiful like that. Simple to make, real easy. And I wanted to show you guys that you can put it. I hope you guys enjoy the pictures in the back. Usual, if you got some value in the content that I shared on today, go ahead and share a girl out. Like, comment, subscribe, shoot it up, ask me any questions. It does not matter. I will answer them as much as I can. Tell me if you like this one. I'm going to put it on the curtains. I wish I had gotten this in white. They didn't have any white, so I opted to use black. But it still is good because it's going to go with color 
theme in the bathroom. I'm gonna take you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. This is the corner in which I did the curtains. It's very, very small. I got these regular little small hooks from Walmart. And I said, I wanted to just make this, just do it up a little bit more. So then you're gonna feed your curtain through because it's a very small curtain, it's not even thick. And this will not be moved at all. And then I made it and then I'm gonna be clipping right there onto that. Look at this in the bathroom, guys. Can't not go wrong. Just take your bathroom curtain up a notch by creating this for yourself at home. I showed you guys how to do it. It's very simple. You can make it any color. Tell me what you guys think. Look at that. Tell me what you guys think. Look at that piece right there. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Gorgeous. I'm gonna tell you, gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Look at that there. Beautiful. It takes it up a notch. It does. It takes it up just a little bit. Makes it look so beautiful in the bathroom. And I wanted to show you guys how I normally do all sorts of little pieces to make my house look very, very beautiful. That's what I created, guys. I hope you guys like that one. If you want to see the whole bathroom tour, all you're going to do is hit the link in the description. This is exactly what I made to go there. And I, I, I measured it out and everything. So you see, look at how beautiful that looks. Let me show you that. So that curtain is going to be like an in the bathroom up there. Just beautiful. The other one is drying. Let me go get it and put it on on this curtain on this side. But that's the idea. That's the, what I was going for. Tell me down below what you guys think if you like it. Very, very simple. Not complicated at all to make. And this is going to be staying here. It's not going to be moving at all. So that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and make it the way in which I made it. Where I adhered. I, I literally adhered the two ends together. Because I knew this was not going to be moving from here. Hope you guys like this one.